Welcome back to another Photoshop CS6 tutorial. I'm your host, Buddy Blackford, and today we're going to be using a path to fill an area of the image. For example, we're going to fill in this screen here with an image. So we can put a picture on the, on the TV screen. So open up anything you want and go ahead and start making your path. And I'm going to make it the size of the TV screen. I'm going to zoom in. And it's, I'll just do this real quick. And I'm not going to try to be like really perfect. And there we go. So I've got my path there. And it's basically the same size as this screen. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in to fill this path. So let's go to the paths panel. And you can see you have your work path there. Let's go up to the path options and then go to fill path. Now we can use a foreground color. We can use a pattern if we wanted to. Um, we can, yeah, there's a bunch of things that we could use, background color, colors, uh, other things. So I'm just gonna select pattern and let's see if I got any, like, any patterns. Here's some static that might work well. Um, hit okay. And now you can see on my TV screen that I've got static. Now you're gonna want, if you want other stuff, you want to import your um, patterns, and you can check out the tutorial on that that has uh, was a while back. So that's uh, actually pretty easy. But there were a bunch more other options on there, so let's go to those. So fill path, and then we've got our um, options here. We've got our different blending modes, and this is how it's going to blend in with the with the image. Um, we've got our opacity here. So if I brought the opacity down, hit OK, the opacity went down a little. Can't really tell that much on that one. And then um, we've got our rendering down here. Actually, we've got this box here that says Preserve Transparency. And what that does is it protects any transparent areas in the image, like this background and everything like that. Um, so we've got um, rendering down here. We've got our feather radius. And that can go from 0 to 250. And it feathers the edge. So if I put on 25 or something like that, we got that. Um, Anti-ALIS here, it uh, softens the fill. And down here, we've got the uh, scripted patterns here, which is new for the it's for the or it's for the pattern option. So if I take it off pattern, it's not on there. If I go back to pattern, it is on there. And we've got our different types of scripted patterns. And um, you can pick one of these to see how it's applied. I'll just do spiral and see what that looks like and hit OK and you can see that the path is applied in a, like a kind of spirally way let's go back to it and obviously that's not good for the TV we don't want it to be spirally so I'll hit um, fill path and you can see on the edges how the um, the feather radius affected this and the it blended on top of the edge so I obviously I don't want this because I got a hard edge but if you have something that doesn't have a hard edge on it then you want to um, use that feather radius so let's try something like brick fill and see what that does now that's what brick fill does or we can just take it off and keep on what we just had which probably looks the best so there we go. We've got um, you now know a way how to make a path and then fill that path with um, whatever you wanted to use. So that's it for this tutorial. And the next tutorial, we're going to learn how to use this uh, stroke path. And be sure to stay tuned for that one. So thanks a lot for watching, you guys, and have a good one.